Hey folks, welcome back to Coco Rare Coins and Currency. This is what we as coin dealers absolutely hate and it drives us nuts. A couple days ago, I posted a video uh, about the 1943 steel cent. In my video, I made it very clear, crystal clear, that graded in MS67, these coins are worth about $200, uh, which you're looking at right now, that's my own personal 1943 steel cent MS67. The most expensive, highest graded steel cent was recently sold for nearly $35,000. It was also graded MS68 plus with a CAC sticker. Obviously, one of a kind. So, this is what coin dealers absolutely hate and drives us nuts. So I'm going to show you a couple of comments I got from the video. Let's take a peek. All right. So right here, uh, the, this guy right here, I'm not going to mention him by name. He says, I have one in MS69, and it's a double die. So I responded to his claim. I said, look, neither PCGS or NGC have ever certified a 1943 steel set in MS69 grade, period. Your claim is very suspicious. You can check their websites for verification. Thanks for watching. Okay, no problem. He responded back to me. I do have one, and it's a double die. I actually bought it from the Mint. He bought it from the Mint? Um, these coins were minted in 1943, so that was like 80 years ago. And, you know, maybe he did buy it from the Mint 80 years ago direct, and now he's like 110 years old. I have no idea. But anyways, he said he bought them directly from the Mint right here. I bought it from the Mint in a bag of coins, and, you know, he says he's doubt, he doubts it's a fake. So anyways, um, I responded to him. I said, look, you know, these coins don't exist in MS69 condition. He says, well, you know, I haven't looked at it in a while, but I'm pretty sure it's an S mint mark. Okay, so I responded, look, okay, put your money where your mouth is. I responded, and I quote, I'm simply stating that no one has ever seen a 1943 steel set graded MS69. They do not exist, period, end of story. This is according to PCGS and NGC. Do not get mad at Coco. I'm just telling you what PCGS and NGC report. You don't need to argue with me. They have never seen or graded one of these in MS69 condition. So I responded, how do you know it's MS69? Who graded it? Why do you have the only known example in the entire universe. And here's where I challenged them because, you know, Coco, I'm, a, I'm the real deal. I will put my money where my mouth is. So I challenged him. I said, quote, please post your picture of said coin graded and encapsulized by a recognized third party grading agency in MS69 condition. I will personally buy it from you right now for $20,000 in cash. Just post your pictures and the information you have, and I'll gladly wire you the $20,000 in purchase of this coin. Again, it needs to be certified by PCGS or NGC and MS69. If you can deliver proof, I will deliver $20,000 cash. Your move. Okay. Um, <laughs> needless to say, I haven't heard back from them. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but to me, 20 grand is a lot of money. All right. If somebody bet me $20,000, uh, yeah, I'd try to take them up with their offer. But what I want to show you right here is a little bit of proof. Uh, so this guy says he has, um, he says he has one. Um, it's graded MS69. Okay. And I responded back and said, look, PCGS and NGC have never graded one of these coins. If you have one, it's worth a ton of money. Uh, so let's see if Coco is telling the truth. All right. So what I did right here, jumped over to PCGS website, the 1943 steel set, all right, in MS68 plus condition. It's worth approximately $35,000. There are three of those known to exist. The last one was sold in November of 2020 at Stax Bowers for $33,600. 
Notice the, the screen doesn't move any further, okay? He says he has an MS-69. Well, if he had an MS-69, it would be listed at PCGS's website. But as you can see, you try to scroll over, that's it. P PCGS says MS-68 Plus is the highest grade they've ever encountered. So then this guy came back and said, well, I might be mistaken. Maybe it's not the 1943. Maybe it's a 1943S. Okay, so no problem. Jumped over here to PCGS's website, looked up the 1943S, all right? And let's see what we see here. Uh, MS-67, uh, it's worth $285. There's 2,200 uh, examples of those known to exist. Uh, MS-68 condition, there were $3,500, so now we're getting into some real money. However, there's only 126 of those known to exist. Uh, MS-68 Plus, uh, PCGS, remember, this is the 1943 S, San Francisco Met, MS-68 Plus condition, price guide, $35,000. However, PCGS has only ever graded five of these, okay? If we try to scroll over, remember, this guy says he has an MS-69. If we scroll over, there's nothing there. PCGS has never graded a 1943 steel set in MS-69. All right, so I'm going to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Okay, maybe it's not PCGS certified. Maybe it's NGC. Okay, whatever. All right, well, let's check that out. All right, so let's jump over here to NGC's website. NGC, 1943 steel set. All right, here we go. Maybe this guy's got a gazillion dollar coin. Who knows? All right, so NGC. In MS-68 condition, it's worth $3,200. They've graded 91 of these. MS-68 Plus, they've only graded six. This guy says he's got an MS-69. PCGS says they've never seen it. Never seen it. So then he came back, like I said, and he said, he's, well, I think it's got a San Francisco Mint mark. He's not sure. Right? He means he, he, you know, he's got this, this crazy you know, valuable coin, but he's not sure of the mint mark, but it might be San Francisco. Okay, so let's check that out. Um, so here we have the 1943 S. So that's the San Francisco. It might be this. He's not sure. It might be this. All right. So NGC's website, uh, 1943 S, San Francisco, steel set. He says he's got an MS-69. Well, let's check it out. So in MS-68, uh, this coin is worth $4,300. There are only 117 of those known to exist. And we jump over here to the MS-68 Plus, worth $7,000. There's 16 known to exist. But this guy's got the MS-69, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the problem. NGC's never graded at MS-69. All right, so this is what drives coin dealers insane, is when people claim to have coins that basically are physically and scientifically known not to exist. PCGS and NGC have never seen or graded a 1943 steel set in MS-69 condition, period. It's never happened. I proved it to you. But yet this guy says that right here, he says, I have won an MS-69. I'm going to ignore the fact that it's a double die as well. I mean, <laughs> this guy's got worth like a million dollars, apparently. But anyways, um, do not believe some of these comments, folks. Okay. So he says he's got one in MS-69. Um, PCGS says they do not exist. NGC says they do not exist. So guess what? Uh, Charlie Hampton, I'm offering you $20,000 in cash right now if you can deliver to me a PCGS or NGC graded 1943 steel set, any mint mark, I don't care. I will give you $20,000 in cash. All right. That's my challenge to you. Um, step up. Odds are I'm right and you're going to totally ignore this message. But this is what we hate as coin dealers is people just making stuff up. All right, folks. I super appreciate you watching the video. Got some really cool stuff coming for you very soon. Hopefully you have found it to be enjoyable. Uh, if you liked the video, please 
click that like and subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. All right, folks, have a good evening.